what's it like back home right now in the city of Philadelphia? Oh, what can you tell me about it's, right now? You know what? It's very strange, Rich. I talked to my family yesterday. Yes. They're all happy. Like, this <laughs> is weird. Yes. I don't, they don't know how to act. Right. I don't know how to act. Right. Um, it's uncharted territory. But it's really, it's kind of nice. Now, I'm a little worried because I feel like they're peaking a little too early at this point. Long season. Yes. Uh, everything is going great. I'm someone who sets the bar extremely low. Like, the bar is on the ground. Yes. So, my expectations are never high. I don't like to be disappointed. I only like to be surprised and happy by that. Uh, so, this is well beyond my expectations for how the Eagles should have started the season. Well, I think the good news here is um, it appears that the quarterback will not allow the bar to get any lower. Uh -huh. I love the way Jalen Hurts talks. I love the way he carries himself. I love the way that he is um, leading. I just, I feel it. And I feel like there is, of course, they're not going to go 17-0, and 0, but I just feel... My family thinks they will. <laughs> that's how <laughs> that's just cream it is. That's how weird <laughs> it is in your, on your phone conversation. I just think he is... They're getting better. I just think they're getting better. Like Devontae Smith in particular, oh. right? Week one, non-factor. Next couple of weeks, significant. They're putting on capes on each other. I know, the you Batman know? cape. Right. Last week, watching that catch, Devontae's catch right before the actual touchdown where yes. he went up between two defenders. John and I, my husband and I, are watching the game. And at the same time, just in unison, we just screamed, oh, my God. Right. The dogs, they ran out of house. Like they, <laughs> it's Sundays are rough for them. Yes. Uh, they don't understand that the yelling is actually like usually a good thing. It's a good thing. At this point. It's like fireworks exactly. to a dog. Exactly. Yeah, right. <laughs> like them. Right. Um, but it's kind of wild to watch the Eagles operate like this because – they almost have two number one wide receivers at this point with A.J. Brown. And that, I mean, Howie Roseman just had such a good offseason. And you talk about you know, trading away Jalen Rager and kind of getting rid of the things that everyone just crushed Howie for and bringing in A.J. Brown. Now you have both of these guys operating at such a high level, just helping Jalen Hurts in the passing game. I can't even remember the last time that the Eagles had a true dominant number one wide receiver like this. I guess T.O. would be it. But there's not a time that I can remember that the team had a number one wide receiver like this and then also a killer cornerback like Slay. Like they have the pieces that, you know, could make this team pretty good in the long run. Well, this is went, what's happening. I'm she, drinking the Kool-Aid. She, ah. she just went higher register. Yeah. I mean, that's, you know, you know, if you go higher register, you need you need to you need to really go higher register to really believe what you're saying. But right. no, I do believe what you're saying. And also, I'm 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 um, I, I'm reminded of yesterday when I we had Slay on the program um, and you just referred to him as such. I called him Darius oh. the first couple of times. Yeah. And his answer, because I'm like, so <laughs> you're <laughs> laughing already over there, that, TJ. It was so funny, though. <laughs> These guys like, Rich and I it. were so confused because Rich would be like, Darius, so when you, it's Slay. And he did it three times. He and, does we're, it. and we're just like, what? Well, we th I thought he was, because I was like, so Darius, you know, so the way that you're playing against uh -huh. Justin Jefferson, you know, going into the game, you know, what it was like, you know, yeah. making sure you shut him down up to the challenge. And he goes, it's Slay. It's Slay. And then continue <laughs> on with his answer. And then I'd be like, so what is your, Darius, what is your. Uh, opinion about traveling with a receiver and he goes it's slay and then would you answer and i thought he was using the word slay as a He's metaphor slaying. like a vibe like, right. like a vibe, like his vibe yeah. is so slay. i'm like all right i'll bite like yeah. what is your definition of slay and he goes no i'm telling you call me slay <laughs> It was it was great. It was the coming to America thing. Mama named awesome. Slay. I'm gonna call him Slay. It was yeah, awesome. it's a total head slap moment. It was very funny. You he know. just needs one name. I mean, that's like that's his thing. And like Slay all day. I mean, he's a Beyonce <laughs> fan. Like this is. I didn't is, know that either. Yeah. So, I mean, at least he was back in the day. But that doesn't change. Like you're once a Beyonce fan, always a Beyonce fan. <laughs> I don't one let you have to be high. Mm -hmm. one, one would one would assume. Yeah. And he's a Harden fan. He said he's giving footballs to Harden. You know, after they score. I know. I mean, and Harden looks fit. So, yes. I mean, uh, on, uh, everything's coming up at Philly. There it is again, a very higher register <laughs> there, thing. There, right there. No, I got to work on that. There it is. <laughs>